Everyone's talking about Bug Snacks, and since it was announced back in June, some of us here at Star Select haven't shut up about it. Now, after beating the game, we're going to be giving you an idea about it and sharing our thoughts. So, without further ado, let's talk about Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks is the latest game from the creators of Octodad Young Horses. You play the role of a journalist who's been invited to document the mysterious Snacktooth Island and show the world these strange creatures, which are kind of bug and kind of snack. Simply called Bug Snacks. Upon arrival, you find your host is missing with no explanation, and it's up to you to discover what has happened. Philbo is the first Grumpus you meet, the self-proclaimed mayor of Snacksburg. He explains how since the disappearance of their leader, Lisbeth, the other Grumpuses have fallen out and left their settlement off Snacksburg and are now scattered across the island. Grumpuses, by the way, are the Muppet-like creatures who live in this world. Each of them has a defining characteristic, similar to Smurfs or Mr. Men. To get to the bottom of where Lisbeth has disappeared to, and to discover the mysteries of Snacksu, you need to bring all the Grumpuses back to Snacksburg and have them settle the differences. This is where the bug snacks themselves come into play. To gain the trust of the Grumpuses, you need to capture and feed them bug snacks. <coughs> to find these delicious creatures, you have to adventure across the island and explore each of Snacktooth's eight areas, all of which are home to different species. Each kind of bug snack has their own characteristics, which makes capturing them all different. Some might only come out in the daytime, while others will come out when it's raining. Then there are the behaviours such as aggression towards a player or other bug snacks. All of these things makes catching each bug snack unique. To help you on this mission, you have a bunch of gadgets and gizmos, from the sauce slinger, which fires different types of sauce to attract different bug snacks, to the buggy ball, which contains a little strabby that you can control with a laser pointer. Figuring out which tools to use for each bug snack and using them in the right way makes you really have to think outside the box sometimes, especially when you have to use a combination of them. And then there are a select few boss bug snacks. These massive creatures don't fit naturally into your trap, so they need cutting down to size, which requires you to use your tools in new and intuitive ways. There's not many games I could compare the gameplay to. I'd say the closest would be Pokemon Snap, with the difference being you're not on rails and you've got a lot more gadgets in your arsenal. Something which I wasn't expecting at all was to enjoy the story as much as I did. The Grumpuses each have their own reasons for wanting to come to Snap Dude, and as you get to know them more, you understand why they came there in the first place. They get pretty deep and become fully fleshed characters, which upon first impressions, you wouldn't expect. The character building off the Grumpuses is one of the game's highlights for me. You might start off disliking some, but gradually you understand why they are the way they are. Like the island that they're living on, there's much more than meets the eye. It's fine. Cromdo didn't say anything I don't already know. It's been a rough day. Why don't we uh, unwind with some snack pods? <laughs> I played the game on a base PS4 and easily my biggest gripe with the game would be the loading screens. You get one every time you enter an area which when you're back and forth constantly can get really annoying because they're not particularly short. It's not the prettiest game either but that's completely understandable with how many characters and bug snacks themselves there are and to be completely honest the game's charm and style overshadow any flaws in how it looks. If or hopefully if they make a sequel I'd like to see a few things included. I think being able to customise your own character would be a great addition and another would be being able to do something with the bug snack that you've caught like maybe having them as pets or making a little zoo sort of thing. I don't know, I think the game's missing something like that and I'd like to see what's come up with. I really enjoy bug snacks. It's not like anything I've played in a long, long time, which was a nice change. It's not a particularly hard game, but there are a few bug snacks which will give you trouble and to 100% it, I'd say it'd take around 15 hours. 
With its mix of fun puzzling gameplay and surprisingly good characters and story, I'd definitely say give it a go, especially if you're a fan of Pokemon Snap. So, that was Bug Snacks. If you've played it, let us know what you thought of it in the comments below, or tell us a game you'd like us to play. Thanks for watching everyone, give us a subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I hope you have a great day. And as always folks, GG's.